Yo, so uh, carrying on, carrying on from, from last time actually, we created this a spacesuit like this. Pretty good. Now to pose it. So first, <clears throat> you just want to find the armature. Either click here <clears throat> or like the bones. Then you can go into pose mode. So it just selects the armature and then it means you can move it around. Then come to this panel and this little man, you put stay in, in front. So it shows all the bones. You can easily move them like that. Now what I like to do, I never use G, like I just like I never like move them like this. I always just rotate it. And then like just by pressing R and then like X, move it this direction, X again to move it in a different direction, Z and then there's Y, move it in like all different directions you want. So we're gonna maybe make it hold, hold a gun or something. So what I like to do is import gun. All right, it's so now importing the gun. Go to here and type block or whatever. Asset list. Mesh. And here, here you go. Just type what gun you want. It might be spelt different or... And then I find the Glock. That's an, pretty sure that's the Glock, right? Yeah. So you just want to find it. I explained the LODs in the last video, but zero is the highest quality, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Go to scene hierarchy, block.entity, all of that. Model, export. Then I'm just going to make a new folder. The lock. Click on it. Click folder. Start exporting. You can just untick them now. Make sure it's open because it's going to start. There you now it gives us all of the textures as well as the um, FBX to import it. And to import it, you just go to Rust Tools, Import Rust Model, find it, in Object FBX. And lock that entity. Yeah. Click on the gun and press, press S. Yeah, you can just scale it. I've already done mine here. But that is how you import it. Quite easy. And import imported. You can size it by pressing S. That. But I'm pretty sure that's like a decent size. Now, you just want to... You can delete the... Uh, these bones. Usually, I just like to... Alt, Alt P, clear, and keep transformation, so I can get rid of the excess bones because uh, they're just annoying and they're not needed. Like that. Then you can by ro rotate it to its position. I'm gonna make it like hold it up in the sky. So, I'm gonna click on the armature again. Pose. And maybe just rotate this like this. And I'm going to have it pointing up to the sky like here. Go back into object mode. Rotate it like that. Move it. You might have to move angles a lot to make sure it's like in the right position. Get the camera angle. You might have to move the camera. I'm going to, do, I'm going to move it like this okay i'm gonna hide the camera because it's getting in the way uh let's move this bit to the side be a little bit forward now here we can just start like editing it so just click on the armature again or yeah pose mode then by clicking r i'm moving this and then you can press x or y or z Find the perfect position. 
Um, I'm going to have these wrapped around the gun. I'm going to need to rotate the gun a bit, actually. That does take a while. Then check the armature pose mode in a press R then Z. Make this finger move. Uh maybe just wait maybe I could Yeah that looks pretty good. And same for this finger. Pretty good. Then we can have this thing on the trigger, maybe. And if we grab the gun, there. That's pretty good. Then we do that side a bit. Put that up. Yeah. Just the side a bit. All right, now let's just check that angle out. Be good, then we can just click on this again. That's not bad, maybe the thumb needs a little work, it's flipping. I don't know how I really want the thumb. What angle should I? Like, how do you hold the gun? Usually it's a lot easier to get like a reference image on the internet or something. I know, that's not bad. But yeah, you want to take your time on that. Now, make sure it's cycles. And I prefer GPU as I got much better GPU than CPU. And then I'll just check rendered out. Yeah, it's not bad. Now let's just render it now. And add some more stuff. Alright, so that's, that's not bad. There you go. That's what we got for the render. Not bad render. Cool. The lighting could do with some work, maybe some attachments on the gun. But that's cool, that's how you pose a character.